Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, this course. Going to talk about consumer behavior. Consumer behavior. Top uh, Let's go through just the previous lecture before that I give you like between three and four lectures before. I focus about a couple of things like 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 how you're going to make a research paper and what kind of the case study that you're going to focus because there's a lot of people that are taking my course. Okay, the organism behavior, and there is a kind of connection between the organism behavior and consumer behavior. But today, we're going to talk about consumer behavior. Let's talk about previous couple of things that I mentioned it in the lectures, previous lectures before. First of all, let me start about the behavior. Again, again, and more than again, more than again, I'm going to talk about behaviorism. The behavior, okay, it's the most important factor for any humankind, okay? It translates your positivity, it translates your negativity, it translates a lot of things. Even if you have a kind of eye contact, your body language, your biomechanic, your even the way that you're going to move, okay, in your face expression is going to focus about your behavior. Consumer behavior here, it's going to talk or focusing about the clients, um, the, uh, the customers, Okay, like like if we're going to mention uh, like 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 a very simple um, thinking to buy a um, uh, Ferrari 360, okay, red one, red, okay, the redlish, very dynamic, okay, and Ferrari they're really popular and famous uh, about their red, especially their redlish, and they have a kind of like like a special custom about that uh, anyone buying ferrari no not anyone buying ferrari it depends about your financial statement it depends about how you're going to focus about how you can can you drive this car it's not a regular car it's a sports car and in the same time you need to um to 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 be advanceable about your little bit about the computer rise because it's full computer a little bit in the same time uh, you have to have a good fitness Okay, to drive this car. In the same time, do you have the financial statement to have this car, but what kind of later when you do the service for this car? Okay, means that I am looking for a special, a delicate, a very unique behavior, okay, for any kind of human body on earth to buy kind of, we're, we're talking about products, about Ferraris. Customers, uh, customers or even uh, the clients, they're looking for those things. It's not so easy, okay? And you have to prepare yourself when you start to analyze or you're going to explain or even to make any kind of presenting yourself for this car, for any kind of clients, for any kind of customers because you need a very special behavior. This behavior, it depends about how you're going to present, what kind of the clothing that you wear, what kind of the accessories, how you're going to use your eye contact with the customers and the clients, how you're going to have a very extremely good discourse analysis or lingualism or semantic or stylistics, okay? ازاي تقنع اللي قدامك او صرف الكلمه بالبلدي ازاي تثبت اللي قدامك. اوكي؟ okay. الناس اما طبعا 100% طبعا اما ادخل طبعا اتفرج على على شو روم في فراريز كارز طبعا مش اي حد ومش اي شو روم في مصر عندهم فراريز. ولو دخلت سالت على العربيه دي اعرف ان الراجل اللي هيبص لك عشان تسال على العربيه دي هيبص على ثلاث حاجات او اربع حاجات. انت لابس ايه؟ طريقه لبسك؟ اكسسوارز بتاعتك؟ طريق كلامك شغال لو الاربعه دولت هو حس انك انت فعلا عندك الجديه انك تشتريها مش هيخرجك من المعرض غير ما انها تبقى يعني غير ما تبقى معاك العربيه اوكي اول حاجه العربيه فيري اكسبنسيف تاني حاجه في لغه معينه طريقه معينه في اللغويات بيستعملها في بعض الحروف بياخد ماله من كل حركه هو بيعملها عشان يخلي باله ان هو يعمل لك عمليه اقناع ان العربيه ذيس از يورز بس لازم يعمل لك تيستنج في الحاجات دي الصغيره دي لازم الاول. اوكي؟ 
فحتة البيهيفيرنزم في الكاستيومر بيهيفير هيز تيستينج يو زي ما بالظبط الطفل بيعمل تيستينج لباباه ومامته وهم صغيرين هما بيكبروا اول ما تحس ان الاب اداله فيس اكسبريشن قوي او اداله مثلا ضربه في ايده اوكي تعرف ان الطفل هيز تيستينج هيز داد اند هيز مام اند هي ويل نيفر دو ات اجين بت ات ديبندز اباوت يور فيس اكسبريشن اربع حاجات مهمين جدا جدا وان تراينج تو يوز او تحاول تعمل بيرسويزيف اوكي انك انت تحاول تقنع الكاستمرز او الكلاينتس عشان دي بتبقى لعبتك في حته البيهيفيرنزم بتاعتك توظيفك اربع حاجات البادي لانجويج الاي كونتاكت البايو ميكانيك الفيس اكسبريشن البايو ميكانيك اللي هو علم الحركه انك تحرك رجليك ايديك تعمل عمليه اه oh, بليز uh, have a seat thank you very much it's kind of decency اوكي الفيس اكسبريشن مهم جدا هاي مام هاي يو دوينج اتس ريلي لوفلي تو توك تو يو توداي اتس ريلي اميزنج ذات اي هاف اند يو ميت اس اور ات ليست يو فيزيت اس توداي الجريدنج ده مهم جدا عمليه زي ما بيقولوا هنا بالبلدي هنا في مصر انك تثبت الشخص اللي قدامك ده عشان تقدر تدي له البرودكت ده اتس نوت تو ايزي بس على اما بتعملها براكتسنج مره واثنين وثلاثه وعشره بتوصل لمرحله ربنا سبحانه وتعالى بيديها لك تالنت في الديسكورس ناليسز اللي هو علم الكلام عن طريق اللغويات بتاعتك وبعض الحروف اللي انت بتختارها وبت يو جوين تو اكتيفيت ذا واي ذات يو جوين تو بريزنت اتس ان ارت كان في لفظ كانت بتقوله لي استاذتي كيرل دويك اوكي شي از ون اوف ذا ساينتست اند اديوكيشن سايكولوجيست ان ستانفورد يونيفرستي شي تولد مي وانس And this is true, by the way. She told me, uh, it's very easy to be a professional. But to keep it, it's an art. بالظبط. عشان انت سهل قوي انت تبقى professional. مرة واثنين وثلاثة وعشرة و keep practicing, keep training that. You want to be a professional. But to keep it in long term, وبتعمل عملية upgrading لنفسك, it's an art. Then one time, there is a time, Okay, there is one, يعني once upon a time, timing, a curve بتاعك هيبقى ينزل. طبيعي، أنت برضه في الأول وفي الآخر ربنا بيديك كماليات how you're going to invest it. Alright؟ ناس كتيرة جدا 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 خريجة صيدلة، طب، بزنس، uh, مش عارف uh, طب أسنان، uh, تمريض، uh, I, I have a lot of people. In, 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 in this country and around the world, they are specialized for different, and they have a lot of bachelors for different fields. But they have an art for discussion with dialoguing, with communication, with discourse analysis, with the knowledge of them, it's amazing that they know the thing that they know. If you put a word in a word, if you put a word in a word, you can buy it for you. It's an art. ملك ربنا سبحانه وتعالى مديها لك. فبتطلع كلها على بعضيها كده بالباكج اللي انا بتكلم عليه دي على شكل بيهيفير. والبيهيفير ممكن تبقى نيجاتيف وممكن تبقى بوزيتيف وممكن تبقى بوزيتيف قوي وممكن تبقى نيجاتيف قوي وممكن تبقى نيجاتيف عشان يلعب على حته البوزيتيفيتي قدام. في حاجات زي دي كده بتحصل. طب ليتس جو ثرو طب دكتور برضو يعني انت اديت لي كيس ستدي اتس فيري فيري تايني اتس فيري ديليكت It's very prestigious. It's very stochastic that I'm going to buy a Ferrari. Man, give me a thing on Earth, shall we? Very simple. Okay. The right, we're going to talk about, for example, what? I mean, for example, what? We want to buy something. For example, people are going to buy it. Everybody, for different standards of the country or all the world, buy it. For example, let's say, for example, the food, the food. The food, of course, is important. مهم جدا 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 والاكل ده حاجه يعني انسان ما يقدرش يستغنى عنها. في ناس بتاكل عشان تعيش في ناس بتاكل عشان تتذوق الاكل في ناس بتاكل عشان بتستمتع بالاكل في ناس ليها اكل معين وفي ناس حاطه نفسها بروجرام فور بيربس فور دايتنج عشان تو لوز ويت وفي ناس بتعمل حاجات معينه ازاي بقى نعمل الكلام ده؟ كل واحدة من الكلام اللي أنا قلته ده different shapes, different language, different phrase expression حتى لو الكلام مش face to face لو الكلام electronic لو الكلام على شكل flyer لو الكلام على شكل مثلا logos, charts 
بانرز بتبقى لانجويج حتى الصوره نفسها اللي بتبقى في البيج هيوج كوميرشال اون ذا ستريت او اون ذا مثلا على المحور او على الطريق السريع الهاي واي او غيره اتس ا مسج اتس ا لانجويج اتس هي هيز تيستينج يور بيهيفيرنزم ار يو جوينت تو كونتاكت ذس اور نوت ذا كولرز ذا بروفايلينج ذا شيب ذا ديزايننج ذا جرافيكس الحاجات دي مهمه جدا اوكي okay? وممكن اما اتكلم ابعت اما ابعت لك مسج ومثلا مثلا عندي مشكله مثلا في في آه عملت اوردر 3 تايمز لماكدونالدز لام حسن وذي ار نوت ريسبوندينج فببعت ايميل كومبلين هالو سير اي هوب يو ار دوينج فاين توداي بس اي هاف ا فيري تايني كومبلين اتس ذس كومبلين اتس انوي مي ا ليتل بيت اي اي لاف يور فود اند اي ادور يور فود بس I ask three orders. Nobody respond, or at least pick up the phone and tell me sorry. I'm going to delay this, or I'm going to cancel cancel that. I'm going to understand your needs, but at least you have to respect the human. أنا ما بعت message emailing بالشكل ده المدير المدير الشكاوي أو 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 رد فعله بالشكل إيه؟ يما هرفع لي سماع. لو هو decent قوي يما هيجي لي البيت يما هيعمل لي meal هتبقى الضبل. بس لما اتكلم اقول لك هاي سير او مثلا هاي هي يو يو دنت ايفن ريسبوند مي اي دونت جيف شيت اباوت وكل حاجه انسلتنج 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 وشتيمه ومش عارف ايه وكلام مش كويس وكلام حقير ودنيء وخسيس ومنحط مش هعبرك ات ليست كومبلينينج 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 دايركتور هيز جون تو بيك اب ذا فون وي ار سوري ومش عارف ايه وهيحل يلم الموضوع يا اما هيلمه يا اما ايه هيكبر دماغه. وده اللي بيحصل. It's an art to how you're going to mechanize that. That's your mechanism. اوكي؟ okay? عملية التشكيل نفسها بتاعت ال behaviorism it's very important. نفس السيكونس اللي انا قلته في ال organization behavior بتاع ال the way that you're going to answer the 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 or what they call it uh, the essay on the final. اوكي؟ okay? I'm going to get you a short برضو. هيبقوا Between four or three shards, you're going to select two. And the way that you're going to analyze it and write it down, زي ما انت عملتني handing the research paper, all right, and for, the, for both organization behavior and consumer behavior, okay? The way that you're going to throw the mechanism of the research paper, the abstract, the introduction, the body, the conclusion, the reference. The reference when you hand me the paper. Okay, uh, let's start, go through very fast that the abstract, it's going to be the mechanism of the, what you're going to talk about, what kind of the consumer behavior or behaviorism, or even consumer or a customer or a clients you're going to talk about. And you want to tell me the mechanism between the cost customer service and the, uh, uh, the customers or even the, um, the clients. Then you're going to mention مثلا situation حاجة شفتها حاجة حسيت حاجة الكلام ده كله وهتكتبها على شكل scientific thinking أما بالنسبة لل introduction it's going to be you're going to use the five W's five W's okay what where when which who okay and you're going to answer it and the way that you're going to answer is you're going to write it as a scientific thinking because you're going to organize your thoughts your phrases you're going to write it down at the same time You're going to throw the important part, what they call it, the case study, or you're going to add the case, your case study inside the body. You're going to tell me the problem, you're going to show me the negative and the positive, and you're going to take one of the negatives, convert, convert it to the positive, then you're going to implement it and develop it. The conclusion, it's not going to be a summarization, it's not going to be summarization, it's not going to be summarization, I'm emphasizing this word, it's not going to be summarization, it's going to be your own words as a philosophical thinking because you're going to put a system, systemization. You're going to systemize your thoughts and your words and to put it as a publicity or policy, or you're going to put as a self-study or catalog or giving advising to respect the human capital as human capital to give to, to, to enhance or to approach the positivity as a 
related to his behavior. All those things, you're going to do an investigation, like you did a bit previous for quiz one as a research paper, okay? And you're going to mention and the reference part. Even booking, Googling, uh, YouTubing, stuff like that, or, or any, any kind of situation, you're going to talk about who. Um, let's tell you about something is really important. I want you to focus about the behavior for the customers and for the clients. You have the freedom completely, completely to do what you want on it. And you have the completely to show me the negative and the positive related to your characteristics, your thinking, your, your thoughts about that. Okay? Uh, and I'm going to drop you another video for the consumer behavior. And I think so you're going, it's going to be very useful and very enhanceful for you. And I hope you understand it. If you, if you need anything, anytime, just contact with me. I'm here or even with my TA, Dr. Omne. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And I hope you have a wonderful course because I'm enjoying to see you face to face. I really miss you, but you know what's going on these days in the country. Ciao. Tschüss. This video will provide you with an in-depth critical analysis of my recent product purchase, mainly focused on the five-step consumer decision-making process. Let's start defining what is consumer behavior. Well, consumer behavior is defined as processes a consumer uses to make purchase decisions. But what product have I selected for this video? Chocolates. Step one, need recognition. This step occurs when there is an imbalance between my actual and desired state. It is necessary to identify three points here. Talking about chocolates, this step begins with a stimulus, an internal that for me is definitely hunger, and an external when I listen to a radio ad or I watch a TV chocolate spot, or I see a chocolate in a fancy packaging at the supermarkets, or I listen to a recommendation of my sister. Now, I'll show you what a need is. The need is to satisfy my hunger, get a benefit from the chocolates, whether that be functional or emotional. Most of the time it could be satisfied by other products, but so we have a want. That is the desire for the chocolate that sometimes is not necessary, but something I wish for. Because I could satisfy my need of food with a healthy product, but I like chocolates. Step 2. Consumers search for information about the various alternatives available to satisfy it. And this information search can occur internally. I tend to recall chocolate information from my memory because I know what chocolate is that I like the most and because I have had pleasant past experience after eating these products. And externally, there is the information about chocolates that doesn't belong to my memory because it comes from the outside environment. It could come from no marketing control information source that is not associated with marketers promoting chocolates. These information sources include personal experiences. For instance, when I do shopping, I usually tend to take a look at the confectionery section and personal sources. In my personal case, my sister loves eating chocolates and she's always recommend new chocolate brands to me. And finally, public sources such as chocolate consumer reports, chocolate magazines that I could get at the local libraries. On the other hand, a marketing control information source is biased towards a specific product. In this case, chocolates, and market is playing a main role in this. All of us can see lots of TV ads, attractive spots. Sales promotion are very common on grocery catalogs. Salespeople trying to introduce a new chocolate brand fancy and modern packaging and online shops if you want to give chocolates for a special occasion. The extent to which I conduct an, in, an external search depends on my perceived risk. Generally, as the perceived risk of the purchase increases, I enlarge the search and consider more alternative brands. In this case, this risk is marginal. First of all, I have sufficient information about the chocolate I like. I am self-confident about my decision ability. I have had a good chocolate experience in the past and my level of interest is not necessarily demanding. In summary, a low perceived risk. Then we have 
they are both set. In my chocolate example, I don't consider all brands available. I just focus on a small group of options. Step 3. Now I am ready to make a decision by evaluating these alternatives. You can see all my potential chocolate selection. My awareness set is formed by all chocolates that I know, and my unawareness set is formed by all chocolates that I don't know. Now, focus on my awareness set. I have three subsets, my evoke set, where I have selected four alternatives given consideration based on what the ingredients are filled. Next, I have my inner set, that are my backup alternatives. Finally, I have my inner set, that is formed by the big chocolates that I consider too big to be finished. I tend to make a mess with my hands and I don't like colorful presentations. From my ebook set, it is time to select one option. I select the chocolate fruit and nut. Why? Because I can get a variety of flavors such as peanuts, sultana, strawberries, and only one package. So it is a combination from the other three products. Step 4. Now the process of purchase is pretty easy. I use money from my savings and proceed to pay by cash or by debit card. Step 5. Post-purchase behavior. When I usually purchase chocolate, I expect certain outcomes that is measured in terms of satisfaction or dissatisfaction. Have a look at two important aspects on this step. Cognitive dissonance is the inconsistency between my actual behavior and my values or beliefs. Personally, I wouldn't like to get fat, but I really like chocolates, so I try to justify my decision to reduce this dissonance by seeking information that reinforces positive ideas about chocolates. Additionally, marketers can help reduce dissonance through effective communication with consumers. Returning to my chocolate case, by reinforcing some positive nutritional facts, marketers try to minimize the effect of my inconsistency. Also, marketers recommend to do exercise because it is a healthy activity, encouraging me to deal with the disadvantage of becoming overweight. And they guarantee my total satisfaction, including the possibility of getting my money back if I can't deal with my inconsistency. Now, we have the types of consumer buying decisions. As my decision of buying chocolates is routine, hence there is a low involvement, a short time and low cost. But sometimes it is limited because it takes me a little bit of more time in information search, considering few alternatives to analyze. The level of consumer involvement is perhaps the most relevant element in classifying buying decisions. So let me show you the five factors on which they depend. Talking about my chocolates case, as I have had positive previous experiences, my level of involvement is low. Then, I have a high interest in buying chocolates, so I have a high involvement on this. Next, I perceive a low risk of negative consequences, so there is a low involvement. But, if I have to give a chocolate to somebody, I would spend some extra time having high involvement. And finally, I don't care about the social visibility, so there is a low involvement. I hope this video has been helpful in the understanding of the consumer decision-making process based on my recent purchase of chocolates.